everybody. I just wanted, I'm in Paris right now, so I just wanted to kind of go over how I got here. And I think it's a pretty interesting story. So about a year ago, I started looking into travel rewards programs and points and travel rewards credit cards and all that stuff. And I had no clue before. I knew they existed, but I had no clue of how to use them and if they would be beneficial. So uh, I got, I, I picked up a couple of credit cards and I started using them and I started accruing points. And usually most credit cards will have like a bonus. So if you spend within the first three months, if you spend a certain amount of money, then they will give you 50,000 points as a bonus. And it's kind of to entice you to get the credit card. So uh, I started, I got the credit card, I did this the, uh, the minimum spend limit, and then I just continued to use, I changed the way that I, that I use uh, my debit card. I stopped using my debit card, I stopped using cash, I just used the, the credit card, travel rewards credit card. So I did that, and over time I started to accrue more and more points. Now with the credit card, what's important is you pay it off every two weeks, or you pay it off every time you get paid. And that way you don't ever pay any interest on the card. So that's what I did. And come, I, I took a few trips, just small trips, but then in August, they, they posted, I follow a couple blogs that are travel blogs. They posted a, um, the, at the Hyatt Regency Etoile, the rooms were $21 a night, plus 3,000 points. And so they, in the blog, it said, you know what, this is probably a mistake, but you should jump on it, at least get your, at least get your confirmation and maybe they'll honor it. So uh, that's what I did. I jumped on it. I, I picked uh, five nights and I transferred the points, the uh, 15, or actually, yeah, it would have been 15,000 points. So 3,000 each night. So 15,000 points over to my Hyatt account. Got the confirmation. And uh, then I started just looking at the blog because I got it right when it came out. Started looking at the blog and you see people comment, commenting on the blog and they were saying, yes, you know, I got it, I got in, I got in. And then about two hours later, it was like, oh, no, it's, it's closed. So I went back to the, to the Hyatt uh, site and just to check to see how much the room rates uh, were going for. $650 is what they were going for. So for $21, I got a room, you know, I got that confirmation uh, for a room that was really supposed to be $650. So uh, fast forward about a week and a half later, they sent out emails and they sent me an email basically stating that uh, they made a mistake and I'm thinking at this point, okay, here we go. They're going to explain that they made a mistake and sorry, they can't honor it. But they said we made a mistake, but we're honoring the, the uh, honoring your reservation. So enjoy your time in Paris. So at that point I was just like, <laughs> I was like, what the heck just happened? You know, I got five room, five nights at the pair at the uh, Hyatt Regency in Paris. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get there. So luckily I already had a credit card, an American Airlines credit card. So I had a travel credit card and I had 50,000 points on that card and it was just sitting there. I hadn't flown American prior to that. And then I also jumped in on a promotion that was a few months prior to all this. Um, they did a promotion with Citibank and they do these promotions pretty regularly. Uh, but Citibank did a promotion where if you open up a checking account you kept your checking account open for three months, you transferred over a thousand dollars into that account, and then just use you know use that account that they would give you fifty thousand points. So sure enough, that's what I did. They gave me the fifty thousand points, and so I had a hundred thousand points sitting in my American Airlines Advantage card uh, program, I should say. So with that, uh, the first booking that I made, I just wanted to make sure I had I had a airfare, so I booked right away as soon as I got the confirmation on the hotel, I booked uh, economy up, economy back, and that was uh, 45,000 points is what it cost me, plus $87. So $87 is the taxes and fuel and all that. So that was my first booking. Now, after like three weeks, and at that time, when I checked the, the, the airfare, it was about $1,300 round trip. So I got it for $87, so that was already great. So out of pocket right now, $87 for the airfare, $114 for the five nights uh, in, in, at the Hyatt. So at that point, I was set, I had everything set up. But three weeks before my flight, I started thinking, you know, it would be nice if I could fly first class. So 
Uh, I looked at the first class going up and there was nothing available, but return flights, they had some first class seats available. And so that's what I did. I booked, I basically had to rebook my flight. I was able to get the same seat seating arrangement that I, that I initially had. But then on my way back, I was flying first class. So uh, actually business class to London and then from London to back to the United States, I was flying first class. And that's the long haul, that's like a 10 hour flight. So that's the one you wanna fly first class. The other flight is like, it's like an hour and a half. So uh, that was my setup. I did that, that ended up costing me about 107,000 points, I think total. And since I was flying on British Airways, the uh, taxes and fuel are a little more for British Airways. It, uh, for whatever reason, that's the way it, it plays out. So it did cost me a little bit more money out of pocket. Um, instead of paying $87, it was now like $600. But uh, the $600 uh, in the $87 was credited to that. So I had $87 credit. So it was really around $500. Plus, uh, because it's the beginning of the year, I have a credit card that gives me $300 travel credit. So every year I get $300 travel credit. So I just used that credit card, got $300 knocked off that, so it ended up costing me about $200. So looking at the big picture, overall $114 for five nights at the Hyatt, plus uh, $200 for airfare, economy up, get to fly first class with the rich people on the way back, and just, just to let you know, first class ticket, uh, return ticket, just one way, it's, it's uh, over $7,000. So uh, that's it. That's how I just wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's it's an amazing, amazing thing. And, and you have an opportunity, and I think anyone has that opportunity. Just think of it. It's $300. You spend more going to Disneyland for three people just to get into Disneyland than I spent to come to Paris for five days. So just, I mean, there, there's a lot of, there are a lot of opportunities out there. Just take advantage of them and uh, look more into the travel reward stuff because I think it's a really good opportunity for you to uh, travel more. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. Uh, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Talk to you later. Bye.